Welcome back Maniacs. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cloud Chasers Incorporated Strife 28mm RDA. I'm pretty sure this one comes in a 25mm as well. So let's just dive in and take a look see at it. So open it up. One of the nice things that I'm seeing a lot of companies do here is include something about battery safety, which is you know, kind of super important seeing how we're working with batteries. What we have inside of the box, let's see here, let's put that there. Okay, adjust the camera just to show you here, people. So you have your RDA, two extra sleeves, you have an Ultim cap or a drip tip, sorry, you have a Durlin one, it looks like, and then your box of goodies. Pretty relatively normal stuff for Cloud Chasers Incorporated, which, in my opinion, they've set the bar a little higher than most just because they do include a couple extra barrels and the presentation on your extras is quite nice. So we'll go through one at a time. Let's pull out the goodies box. What you'll find in here is an Allen key. And you see that you have a squonk pin in there, extra screws, extra o rings, and we're going to go ahead and while we're here, take out a couple of these screws. We're going to set these over to the side for the moment, and we will get to those later. Squonk pin, let's see if we can get a picture of that. And that's why you have the Allen key. So we'll put that back in, maybe. Our O-rings. That sucks. And our Allen key. So we'll put those over to the side. Next, we'll look at our barrels. This one has your Buddha-esque airflow, I guess you could call it. Lots of bunch of little holes, what, 16 there. Get in real close. You can see they've kind of got a little bit of shape to them. So it's kind of neat. And then at the bottom, all of these are going to say, there we go, Cloud Chasers Incorporated Strife 28. So that's the first one. The second airflow pattern is this one right here. Same as on the other. It's Cloud Chasers Incorporated at the bottom. Let's go. Well, a little planning ahead probably wouldn't hurt. Now that I think about it. But anyway. Your Ultim. Very wide bore. But if you're using a Cloud Chasers product, you probably already know that. And this one here has got a little bit of curve to it. And the opening isn't as big, but it's still pretty freaking big. So we'll move on to the star of the show. Get this box. Uh, let me put this in here. I think this will make a pretty background. You can't even freaking see it, so I guess it won't make a pretty background, will it? All right. Here she is. In all her glory, it comes with this drip tip neural top solid copper um, that's what I've been using it in just because uh, I know it's a little bit more uncomfortable but I like it's to me it's about the looks um, if it looks goofy as shit then I don't really want anything to do with it and I think that looks boss as shit okay so there's our airflow pattern both sides on the bottom here Strife, Cloud Chasers Incorporated, mine's 2568. We have a protruding 510 pin that, like I said earlier, you can take that out and put a squonker in it. So, pretty cool. So, drip tip, as we observed earlier, your top part AFC, you got the O ring inside there. Step down airflow control. 
And then, yep, I'm going to take this off camera for just a second to get it off. Because that's going to come, that's going to play into something I'm going to talk about a little bit later. But, there's your barrel. And the engraving is very, very nice on it. And kind of unique, I can't remember seeing anybody else do this bottom thing. Um, nothing comes to mind. I'm sure somebody's done something similar to it. But it's kind of, you're used to seeing, you know, like a logo on one side or a logo on the other side or something like that. And that it goes all the way around. Um, I think it's neat. You know, whatever, man. So here's the deck. So two O-rings. And here we go. So what you're looking at is you can do either clamp style or traditional four post. Deep juice well. It measures 28 and a half millimeters in diameter. Got a little lip right there to catch on the bottom. There should be, a, yeah, there's a corresponding on this. So it's, you know, it's not going to settle down over. And that's what she looks like. They're claiming this is revolutionary or different or something. I don't think I've seen anything exactly like this, but I have seen people incorporate um, clamps and holes. So me personally, I don't much care for clamps, even though this clamp system is a little better than others, just because it has the little stuff that goes on the sides. It kind of keeps it kind of going down evenly but even still I just don't like the way they clamp I don't like the fact that you have your leads on either side and it kind of you know to me I sometimes have problems getting it to sit flush so to convert this thing over to traditional and I'm going to do this actually by doing this I'm going to zoom in that way I don't have to hold this all the way up and you just take these screws out, which is easier said than done on camera, by the way. Okay. Take that off. Yep. Yeah, well. uh, I hate flatheads. Hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. All right, so, so there's what your little clampies look like. Very nice. All right, so I'm gonna throw those some bitches over here, and then to convert it, if you'll notice that it has three cutouts for screws, so you can use the middle one for the clamp, and then you can still use your regular screws by putting them in the other holes. Just like so. And that's what you're left with. You can't really tell too terrible much. But this is the way I prefer using it. This is um, very reminiscent of the um oh what was the one by vapors cloud what's the no one the mangala uh, i always forget about it um one with the mountains on it the 30 millimeter version it had uh this style of deck in it which i see no problem with it i like this style of deck I prefer, I just prefer the holes. I mean, if you look how wide that is, you're not, you're not hurting for space there, people. Um, if you have a flat, um, you know, if you have a very wide, like a four or five, whatever, 20,000 core, uh, Clapton or yeah, Clapton. And you've got plenty of room to hit that sucker flat. So I just, I don't see any reason for clamps. They're a pain in the butt to work with. Um, it's not like, you know, they don't work at all, but it just seems to me like it's more, more trouble than what you get out of it. Um, the risk, not risk, but it basically the risk versus reward isn't all that great. You don't get that much better performance. 
you don't get that much easier of a build. I just think it's kind of uh, faddish, if you will. But, you know, that's my opinion. You, know, you may think clamps are the best thing since sliced bread. So, I'm going to take a vape here real quick. And, um... Uh-oh, clouds incoming. Ah! Um, someone mentioned in one of my last videos to spend a little bit more time on the airflow. So, we're going to do that right now. So let me get this thing in here. So, here we go. So with the step down design, you just turn this thing over, close up the top row, close off the next row, next row, and next row, and then it does up and down all the way across. So if you know you have uh, narrower coils, you can adjust the airflow to just hit the, the coils. I mean, it'll go taller, but uh, it will confine your airflow more directly onto your coils. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything else that we need to go over with this thing? I've got a build already on this thing. Or, sorry, I have coils already built for this thing. So, we'll, I'll put those in real quick and regale you with my awesome conversational type skills. One of the things, um, we kind of talk a little bit about Cloud Chasers Incorporated. Um, I think it's a fantastic story. It started out, um, a gentleman by the name of Kurt owned it, and then he kind of got interested in doing something else and kind of let it languish a little bit. And I'm sure running a big hardware producing company is its own set of unique challenges so he got out of it and sold it to some old boys down in alabama i think yeah alabama it ain't mississippi is it mississippi or alabama ah, i think it's it's uh not is it mississippi where's tupelo at tupelo mississippi yeah i think it's in mississippi it's somewhere down there and they're really close to the Gulf of Mexico, which, you know, oh, poor them, you know, horrible working conditions. I mean, yeah, when there's a hurricane or something, but under normal circumstances, that would be pretty boss. So anyway, um, so they had like a juice company already or had a vapor store already or they, they were already in the vape game. And they literally bought CCI. And their first offering was Centurion version 2, which uh, there's a video down there somewhere if you want to know more about it. Still, after all this time, it's been out, what, a little over a year or so? Still stands the test of time. Still is one of the best 30 millimeter RDAs that's ever been made. Um, you know me, I love me some Vapors Cloud, but it is my daily driver. So let's fire off these coils here. And let's see here. Let's turn that down because that may be just a... So let's see here. Turn that up. Okay, that's coming in not too bad. Let's give that a little strumming and turn it up a little bit. I like it when the core's low quick. And there we go. So that's what she looks like. Let's zoom out here just a little bit maybe so you can see. So that's kind of what we're looking like. Um... If you're used to watching other reviewers, let me go ahead and take a vape here real quick. Pardon me. Oh, glorious. Absolutely fabulous. Um, matter of fact, here, let me scoot this over. Centurion version 2. I mean, I'm not joking. It's what a, my daily driver. Um, anyway, <coughs> that was so good. Let's have another one. I mean, fuck it. Come on, y'all. I mean, shit. 
Ah, oh, hmm. Some bitch. Anywho. All right. Um, oh, where was I? So at this point, this is where if you were watching another viewer, they'd say, let's go back up top and vape it and talk about it. Uh, no. Um, I don't like being on camera. It's not my thing. So what we're going to do is I'll just put this thing back. To, oh, uh, let's go over some pros and cons. Duh. Um, we'll do that down here rather than me um, forcing you to check out my mug and all that other good stuff. Um, pros and cons. I've already referenced it a few times in this video, but the Centurion version 2, best 30 millimeter RDA. This, it takes... There, as far as I know, there's only like one other 28 and a half millimeter RDA out there. <clears throat> that was the Alliance uh, version two. Well, this wins. This is uh, much better flavor. It is literally just a smaller version of the Centurion version two as far as flavor and cloud production. Um, basically, yeah, it's just a you know millimeter and a half smaller in diameter. Um, it's about, let me put this, about around about the same height. Um, if you are limited by your device, you have something that will handle a 28, but not a 30 and you don't want hang, you know, overhang your, cause I'm kind of OCD about that myself. Um, then this is the one for you. It has great flavor, great vapor, vapor production. Um, it's easy to convert it over from clamp to four post style. The airflow is great. I personally use it with just the top row turned off, uh, blocked off. Um, I really, I think the only real ding I can give this one, and this is across the board with all, uh, Cloud Chasers Incorporated products and, um, it's, it's, depending on your perspective, it's a bad thing or a good thing. For me, um, I consider it kind of a negative. I mean, just barely, you know, I mean, just, just barely. But these O-rings, they're ridiculous. Um, they are way, way too stiff, even when you get juice on them. What I have tended to have done, let me pull it off here, is like on my Centurion, I took one off, or I took two of them off. Yeah, this one had three. This is original run. Um, I took I take the O-ring, a couple of the O-rings off because um, it's just it's it's easier to get on and off, and it still does a great job. I mean, I appreciate them putting two O-rings on here, but this thing could have done with one. And matter of fact, after we're done with this video, I'm gonna take the one of them off, and after I wick it up to start using it again, it's just it's too tight. Um, now I'd rather it be too tight than too loose. I, I know I hear some of you going out there. Well, that one video you bitched about the O-rings. Well, oh yeah, it was the uh, Colorado. The O-rings too loose. Yada yada yada. Now they're too tight. There's no pleasing you. Yeah, you're right. There is no no pleasing me. But it's still um, it's just they're they're a little too snug for my liking. Out of the box. Um, like I say, if you take one off, then it's absolutely perfect. Perfect in every way. So let me go ahead and put this some bitch back together off camera. He puts the RDA back together. All right. And voila. One completed RDA. Uh, price point on these things. Oh shit. What were those going for? Like 60, 70 bucks, somewhere in those vicinity. I mean, just look up, up uh, uh, cloudycollabs.com. That's where you're going to get this thing. It also comes in a 25 millimeter version. Personally, I'm a big RDA person. I do not like the smaller ones. Um, there's something about the space restrictions that really just annoy the hell out of me. But anyway, that's probably enough going on about a bunch of nothing. Um, if you have any more questions about it, feel free to put some, ask a question in the comment. If you look, you see I answer most all comments, um, just because I have no life like that. So, once again, since uh, Cloud Chasers Incorporated, Strife 28mm RDA gets a resounding two thumbs up for me, a fantastic RDA. 
Um, if you're looking for something a little bit bigger uh, than a 25, but just a shade smaller than a 30, this is your one. This is the one you want. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.